Hi friends, hope you're doing well today. I wanted to just, I wanted to speak very directly to you from the heart as I always try to do, but today is from the heart. I wanted to let you know something vulnerable. I've decided to make a decision. I'm choosing today to cast my vote to support two people, okay? Two people, you might've heard of them. First person is Donald J. Trump. I cast my vote of support for him today and Joseph Biden. I don't know if you've heard of him, but I'm casting my vote of support for Joseph Biden today. Yes, both of those men. Today, I'm not talking about November 4th, the election day and all of that kind of thing. I'm not talking about that in the voting booth. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about today. I'm choosing to cast my vote of support for Donald Trump and Joseph Biden. Now, most of you listening to this may be tempted to have a knee-jerk reaction or to re or to misunderstand what I'm saying, what I'm about to share with you. So I, let me caution you not to react, to listen to the whole video. Otherwise, don't react to it. Listen to the whole video and hear the heart of what I'm trying to tell you today because it has implications for your future, for our democracy, for our way of life in the world. Yes, it matters who you vote for. That's why I'm voting for both of them. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. It's not a cop-out, not being overly diplomatic either. I mean something very serious by this. You see, I want to encourage you with a message today, okay? A lot of you guys are worried. You're worried about the future. You're worried about your life. You're worried about you know, our country and our nation. Thank you for being concerned. That's noble of you. But I want to encourage you with this truth. Nobody, nobody, no human being other than you has the power to create your life and your future. Nobody. No one individual or group of individuals can shape and control in your future and your destiny and the way you live your life other than you. You are the one who is in control of everything you experience and your life. Now, I, didn't, I don't mean you're not affected by outside forces and outside things. I'm not saying that. That's a whole other conversation. But if you're worried about the wrong person being you know, elected president because of what that could mean for you and your life and you feel fearful about that, you've bought into the illusion that you are not powerful. And that's an illusion. Only you can shape the future for you and for the rest of us. Only you. Only you. You have the keys. You're in control. You're empowered. You're creating the future. That's the truth. We could, I could get into quantum science and I could demonstrate for you. You are creating the reality you are living and experiencing both for yourself and everybody else. So it's time to come out of the illusion, okay? Have you ever been, have you ever been to one of those um, haunted houses like, you know, and they have the, like the house of mirrors and it's distorted and you're walking, there's all these different mirrors and you're looking and the mirror's distorted and it looks really scary. Have you ever been in one of those things? I have, it can be very disturbing. But it like, it bends your uh, perception of reality. It's like very, there's all these illusions. You're looking into these weird mirrors and you're seeing all these shapes and it's, it's kind of disorienting. That's what this election season is like. Yeah. And almost everybody I know is buying into the illusion at some level, at the subconscious level. And I want to draw your attention to it. Here's how you know if you've bought into the illusion. If you see one of these people... One of the can major candidates running for office, if you see one of them as being kind of evil, and if you see the other one as kind of being a little bit less evil or maybe even a little bit good, yeah, you're buying, you're buying into the illusion. I'm here to tell you that both of these individuals at their roots have beautiful and good qualities about them. They are good people. Now, I'm not saying they always operate from a consciousness that is uh, healthy, or, or a higher frequency of consciousness. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying they don't. They have not done hurtful things or made mistakes. They have. We all have. You have. But what I am saying is that these are deeply good people. And if you were to spend some time with both Joseph Biden and Donald Trump, you would understand that they are not the all-powerful beings that the political situation has making them out to be. And also, they are not as bad as you think. Yeah, you may disagree with them on certain policy issues, as you would with anybody. You may not see eye to eye. That's fine. But there is some beautiful points of harmony in both men. And if you 
cannot see that in either one of these candidates. If you have an inability to see the deep goodness of either one of these candidates, you are, are in that house of mirrors. You are affected by the illusion and it's going gonna, it's gonna to have negative consequences for you. And so let me just say this really clearly, if I can be just so clear about this. I, from here to election day, we have what, three weeks or more, a little more than three weeks, right? Till, till, <clears throat> till maybe about three weeks till election day. I encourage you, I want to ask you to, to just join me in this experiment. I want you to find something. This isn't a cop out. I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm not telling you not to vote. It doesn't matter to me. What I am telling you <clears throat> is to find the noble qualities in both of these individuals, okay? If you want to, if you, even third party candidate, candidates, but I'm using these two as an example because they're the major ones. Find noble qualities in both of them. If you can do that, you will have transcended the game of politics. Yeah, I'm not for or against politics. I think it has its place. I think there's some important things you can do in that field of, uh, in that profession, just like any profession. What I'm saying is transcend the game transcend the game. I want to tell you today why I'm supporting Donald Trump and why I'm supporting Joseph Biden today. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you two things. One thing about each candidate that I absolutely admire about both of them. Here's why. And the reason I can do it, because I'm not buying into the illusion, people. Donald Trump, I, what I appreciate about him, one of the things I really deeply appreciate about him, I'm committed to peace on earth, okay? And one of the things I've appreciated about Donald Trump is that he's the first president. He's the first president in a long time that has not committed the United States to uh, acts of warfare, any new acts of warfare. He hasn't started any new wars. He hasn't started any new wars with any new countries. Now, I haven't approved of all the things that he's done with his military. But what I am saying is that for the first time in four years in the first term of any president we've had in modern history, there has been no new war started with any country. And not only that, he's withdrawn, he's actually drawn down troops in Syria and also is pulling the troops home in Afghanistan. So in addition to that, in addition to that, um, uh, Joseph, Joseph Biden, let me tell you what I truly support and about him. Okay. Um, he has, well, I pr one of the things I appreciate was when he speaks, he attempts to be very thoughtful. And when he, when he speaks, he tries to be pet presidential. He doesn't just lash out. I mean, I know he's had his instances in the past, like we all have, but he typically tries. I've noticed this about personally. I'm just telling you what I noticed. I've noticed that he tries to be diplomatic. He tries to speak, um, in a, in a statesmanlike presidential way. All the, another thing along the same lines that I've appreciated about Joseph Biden is he has a deep sense of empathy for people. He really does. I've seen him in situations where he empathizes with people, especially people who have experienced loss. And if you know anything about Joseph Biden's story, he's, ex, he's experienced tremendous loss in his life. Loss of, he lost his wife and children in a car, in a terrible, terrible car accident uh, years ago. And he's uh, lost his son to cancer. It's been, he's, he has suffered. And um, as with lots of folks who have suffered, they have the ability to empathize very deeply with people's pain. I really appreciate that about him. And I think it's an important quality of any leader. See, there you go. Those are two things. Those are two things I've, I appreciate about both men. See, I'm not, I'm not taking sides here. I just have the ability to see so you can do it too. And let me encourage you from here on out, let's find ways to support both men every day. Not for them. Not, I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm telling you for your own health and consciousness and for the, your ability to create your future. The ability to do this is essential. All right? If you'd like some more information from me, go to my website, jamaljavanji.com. Scroll to the bottom. Put your email address in there and click submit. You'll get on my mailing list. These are important days ahead. And the future of our democracy is at stake. And you hold the, all the keys. Yeah. So let's find the beauty in everything and create a beautiful world. You can do it. I'm doing it. And I invite you to join me. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.